Everybody, let's talk about our uh, next exam, about the practical work for the uh, final exam. Here we are going to determine the uh, activation voltage of a monochromatic light using one limit. The instructions include the material used in the semiconducting element of a LED determines its color, ranging in color from yellow green to red. The color of the light emitted from a uh, LED is determined by the energy of the photons. When the LED is operating at low voltage values, the energy input is not enough to produce photons and the electrical current is very small. At a certain voltage, the LED starts to emit photons. This is the activation voltage, which will be symbolized uh, symbol as VA. Measuring this voltage together with wavelength constant provides a path to finding the emission wavelength. So, during this practical work, we need you to determine the wavelength of this color. Now, here, here we are going to start our procedure. We will connect the uh, circuit like this, includes the LED connected in series with the meter and the voltmeter is connected in parallel with both of them, or only the LED. Here is the potentiometer, which is connected to the power source or the power supply. Set up the circuit as shown in the next diagram, connecting the meter in series with the LED to measure the current through it, and connect the, the voltmeter in parallel to the LED to measure the voltage across it. The applied voltage can be changed by using the potentiometer or the rheostat. Here is what we are talking about. Change the voltage in steps of 0.05 volt for, uh, from 0 volt to 3 volts. And measure the resulting electrical current. Note that when the current flowing through the LED is small, the LED might not light up. And this is a very important piece of information. If the LED is not lighting up, this is not wrong connection. It means that the voltage applied is not sufficient to make the LED light up. But the emitter can still measure the current. Note, to protect the LED, take care to keep the current below 5 mA. Make a data table, plot a graph of current on y-axis against voltage on x-axis. Find the straight line of best fit to join up the points that slope up from the X axis. Finally, determine the activation voltage from the collected data. This is the point at which, this is a very important point, this is the point at which the current begins to increase linearly. Increase linearly. With voltage, it can be read off the graph by extra plotting the straight line representing the linear response region backwards until the intercepts with the x-axis. By using this equation, which says that E, which is the uh, charge of the electron, multiplied by the activation voltage will almost equal H represents uh, Planck's constant times C, speed of light, over the wavelength. This is the piece of information that we need to calculate. By knowing all the values, you can determine the wavelength. Let's see how to connect our circuit. Here you will have the main components of the circuit that we discussed during the uh, presentation. It includes a power supply, a rheostat will be used as a potentiometer, and I'll show you how to connect it as a potentiometer, a meter, voltmeter, and the LED. It has only two pins, you will connect this. If the connection is wrong, that you connected the positive pole to the negative one, and the LED is not working, you have to invert the connection. And some other connecting wires. First, we need to connect the rheostat as a potentiometer. How? By connecting the two points of the wire that is uh, wounded on the uh, cylinder. 
from the two points. Then the third one will be connected to one of these. For example, we will connect this one and the slider of the rheostat will be connected with this one. Here, from this connection, we are connecting this yellow uh, wire as the positive pool. If you remember the connection, the positive pool will be connected to the positive of the ammeter. The negative of the ammeter will be connected to the positive pool of the LED. The negative of the LED will be connected to the negative of the potentiometer. Don't get confused by these connections. It's a very simple circuit. Okay, review it again. Positive to the positive. Negative of the meters to the positive of the LED. Negative of the LED to the negative of the potentiometer. Now we have only the voltmeter to be connected. Don't forget, it will be connected in parallel, so we need to connect the positive pool to the positive pool of the LED. The negative pool to the negative pool of the LED. Let's make a test on the connection. Switch on the power supply. You will see some readings on the screen, turn on the, the meter, you will see some readings also and on the voltmeter. Don't forget that we are going to use the slider of the potentiometer to control the voltage applied in the circuit. Okay? We will begin with the LED and it is not lighting. Increase the voltage applied by moving the slider of the potentiometer, you will see the readings of the voltmeter and the meter change it. Don't forget to record these uh, readings and another reading. There's some changes happen in the uh, voltmeter and the meter. Another one. Now pay attention for the LED. It starts to glow. Can you see it? If you recorded the previous readings from the LED which is not turned on, you will see that the difference is very small. From the point of starting the LED to light, the changes will be great. Meaning, be careful for the slider, it may fluctuate like this. Okay? The reading of the meter and voltmeter will increase dramatically. Don't forget to record all your results because we will need them to plot the graph. Increase again. Here is the reading for the meter, for example, is 2.29 or 2.3, while the voltage is almost 2.6. To uh, measure the, uh, to take the reading of the voltmeter correctly, don't forget to look perpendicularly on the scale. Now, there is a mirror behind the uh, pointer. Make sure that. The pointer and its image on the mirror are exactly on each other. The pointer hides its image from the mirror. Okay? This is what gives you high mark because you are doing the right procedure. Take some other readings. It is the, also the ammeter and voltmeter readings increased. We will increase it again. 
and so on. But be careful, don't exceed the maximum value of each scales for the ammeter or the voltmeter. Right now, we have finished taking the readings. Now we need to disconnect all these connections to return the spot or the station back into uh, its original state. Don't forget to disconnect all the wires. You will be graded on your procedure, not only the results. Here is the voltmeter. Here is the meter. Here is the extra connecting wires. Let's move to how to plot and record our results. According to our readings, we found that these are the results from uh, previous measuring. The voltage was 1.1, the current 0.35. Be careful, these are in milli ampere, while these in volts. 1.5, 0 0.5, 1, 2.2, 0.73, 2.4, 0.82, and here is the point at which the LED started to light up. Continue. 25, 1.18, 2.6, 1.9, 2.7, 4.38, 3.0. 15.2 Here is uh, here are the results from our uh, experiment. Now we need to plot these points. You should see a graph. It may be like this one. If you choose the scale and be careful for the axes. The voltage is on the uh, x-axis while the current on the y-axis. The points should look like this, very small values, then it will make this stop. The points are not, must to be uh, with the same value, because these are not similar values. But the changes are very small. But as soon as the lid started to light up, the changes are huge. It will make a straight line like this. Connect it like this to find out at which point the voltage started to increase the current. Like this. Don't forget the rule that we are going to use. We said that E times VA almost equal H C over long. If you determine the activation voltage, you can find lambda. Lambda will equal H C over E times V. Good luck and have a nice day.